We've had all kinds of animals. We've had doves, possums. We've had a goat. In the city limits of Atlanta. We bottle fed them and named them Billy. Put a diaper on them. A pull up. So it would slide off when yeah, went we to would the bathroom. know when we needed to replace it. Right. Yeah. But it was a very special goat. Why did you buy the cat? Because I was lonely. I was gone for, I think, two days, maybe three. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't take long. There was the, I forget his name now, the ball python we had. Sting. Sting, of course. And then our son Ben had a wharf rat. He got huge. <laughs> Big rat. Actually, it was really intimidating, but he was the sweetest thing on the planet until... We went out of town one weekend. and Right. Then... Our son thought it would be a good idea to leave his rat and his cockatiel. He wanted to let the both of them be social. Gosh. Yeah, we came back to a headless bird. It was it was pretty <laughs> traumatic. But we um, we also had this little chihuahua. Oh, boy. Oh, Nemo. I <laughs> could have killed that dog <laughs> on many occasions. He would pee on your he would, pillow. He would pee on my pillow. He was precious to me, but I understand. I have to say, um, your love for animals made me have a deeper love for you. It transferred to people, too. You you really have a, a calmness about you that taught me that around animals, too. And you treat them with respect. And I remember a time where we were just going through a rough time, like all couples do. And it was sort of a low point for us. And there's this abandoned baby deer. Oh, yeah. That was about 10 years ago. The mother was nowhere around. The mother was nowhere around. So we got to leave it. We got to leave it. We just had to trust that he would be okay. Yeah. We had to trust the future, trust each right. other, trust ourselves. and It was quite a journey, and it's been a wonderful journey since. <laughs>